Tower of Babel, in biblical literature, structure built in the land of Shinna, Babylonia, some time after the deluge. The story of its construction, given in Genesis chapter 11 verses 1 to 9, appears to be an attempt to explain the existence of diverse human languages. According to Genesis, the Babylonians wanted to make a name for themselves by building a mighty city and a tower, with its top in the heavens. God disrupted the work by so confusing the language of the workers that they could no longer understand one another. The city was never completed, and the people were dispersed over the face of the earth. The myth may have been inspired by the Babylonian Tower Temple north of the Marduk Temple, which in Babylonian was called bab Elu, Gate of God, Hebrew form Babel, or Babel. The similarity in pronunciation of Babel and Balal, to confuse, led to the play on words in Genesis chapter 11 verse 9. Therefore its name was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth. Bible, the sacred scriptures of Judaism and Christianity. The Christian Bible consists of the Old Testament and the New Testament, with the Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox versions of the Old Testament being slightly larger because of their acceptance of certain books and parts of books considered apocryphal by Protestants. The Hebrew Bible includes only books known to Christians as the Old Testament. The arrangements of the Jewish and Christian canons differ considerably. The Protestant and Roman Catholic arrangements more nearly match one another. A brief treatment of the Bible follows. For full treatment, see Biblical literature. Traditionally, the Jews have divided their scriptures into three parts. The Torah, the Law, or Pentateuch, the Nevim, Prophets, and the Ketuvim, Writings, or Hagiographer. The Pentateuch, together with the Book of Joshua, hence the name Hexateuch, can be seen as the account of how the Israelites became a nation and of how they possessed the Promised Land. The division designated as the Prophets, continues the story of Israel in the Promised Land, describing the establishment and development of the monarchy and presenting the messages of the Prophets to the people. The Writings, include speculation on the place of evil and death in the scheme of things, Job and Ecclesiastes, the poetical works, and some additional historical books. In the Apocrypha of the Old Testament, various types of literature are represented. The purpose of the Apocrypha seems to have been to fill in some of the gaps left by the indisputably canonical books and to carry the history of Israel to the 2nd century BCE. The New Testament is by far the shorter portion of the Christian Bible, but, through its associations with the spread of Christianity, it has wielded an influence far out of proportion to its modest size. Like the Old Testament, the New Testament is a collection of books, including a variety of early Christian literature. The four Gospels deal with the life, the person, and the teachings of Jesus, as he was remembered by the Christian community. The Acts of the Apostles carries the story of Christianity from the resurrection of Jesus to the end of the career of Saint Paul. The various letters, or epistles, are correspondence by various leaders of the early Christian church, chief among them Saint Paul, applying the message of the church to the sundry needs and problems of early Christian congregations. The Book of Revelation, the Apocalypse, is the only canonical representative of a large genre of apocalyptic literature that appeared in the early Christian movement. Tower, any structure that is relatively tall in proportion to the dimensions of its base. It may be either freestanding or attached to a building or wall. Modifiers frequently denote a tower's function, e.g., watchtower, water tower, church tower, and so on. Tour Magna. The Tour Magna, a ruined Roman tower in Nîmes, France. Historically, there are several types of structures particularly implied by the name. Defensive towers served as platforms from which a defending force could rain missiles down upon an attacking force. The Romans, Byzantines, and medieval Europeans built such towers along their city walls and adjoining important gates. The Romans and other peoples also used offensive, or siege, towers, as raised platforms for attacking troops to overrun high city walls. Military towers often gave their name to an entire fortress. The Tower of London, for example, includes the entire complex of buildings contiguous with the White Tower of William I the Conqueror. Pisa, Leaning Tower of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy. Towers were an important feature of the churches and cathedrals built during the Romanesque and Gothic periods. Some Gothic church towers were designed to carry a spire, while others had flat roofs. Many church towers were used as belfries, though the most famous campanile, or bell tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, 1174, is a freestanding structure. In civic architecture, towers were often used to hold clocks as in many hotels de ville, town halls, in France and Germany. The use of towers declined somewhat during the Renaissance but reappeared in the more flamboyant Baroque architecture of the 17th and 18th centuries, 